right. Hey, everybody. Glad you are here. It is, um, what is it? It's uh, Wednesday the 17th, and this is our first Google series Lunch and Learn, um, which is happening on the third Wednesday of the, of the month. Um, and then we had our first Friday Fast 15 uh, uh, a couple Fridays ago. Um, and so we'll continue those having that first Friday um, series as well. So um, today I have a couple of kind of just like tips or tricks that you might want to try. If you like your how your workflow is going right now, though, and things are working for you and you feel efficient, um, you do not have to try any of these things. Um, but if the, you think some of these tips might uh, ease up your day, then give it a try. And of course, um, you can always try it for a week or two and then say, nope, I'm going to reset my settings and <laughs> go back to the way I had it before. Um, that recently, I was just telling Corinne yesterday, that recently happened with me. I was learning about the priority inbox and I thought, I don't like this. I'm not going to like this. And then after two weeks, I'm like, oh, I actually think I might like this. Um, so I am going to share my screen. And then please do uh, unmute yourself, put your uh, add to the chat. Um, you can have your, uh, we're all probably be muted right now, but unmute yourself, add to the chat, um, and then up to you whether you have your camera on or not. So just be comfortable um, where you are. Um, and so I was going to go over, um, I have a little checklist here. Um, we're going to look at templates, workspaces in Drive. Um, I wanted to review just some of the anatomy of, uh, of, what, of Gmail and the side panels. Um, look at spaces, chat spaces, um, formerly called rooms, but now called spaces. There's some um, cool things that you can do there. And um, look at some of the settings in Gmail um, that might just speed up your time spent in Gmail. So. Um, the first thing I just recently learned that you can create templates. And so if you have done this already and you or you have other tips, please jump in and share. Um, but I um, there are for for example, for me there, I send out a newsletter every other week to um, a PLC that I'm working with. And so instead of every other Friday writing out the email that says, hey, here's the new uh, newsletter, I created a template that will do that. And you can create a template super easy. You go to the compose and you write up your email, whatever you want to do. And then you go down to these three little dots or the snowman or the hot dog. They have all, all these kind of names, but click on those three dots, the more options and a new pop up uh, pops up and there's templates. And so you can see I've already created three templates, but if I wanted to save this as a template, save draft as template or save as a new template, and this, you'll name it, test template, and then clear that out. The next time you need to resend that email, you'll go to compose and you'll go to your templates and click uh, click that template and there it is. You're good to go. You'll put in your, um, your recipients as always, um, but that just can save you some time if there's uh, emails or, you know, maybe there's a risk, uh, you get questions from families a lot. And so you're kind of repeating information. So lots of things that you could do there uh, with templates. Anyone in the group used that before? Mindy is saying yes. How the do one you thing, use templates? yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I use them for repeat emails that have to go out. Um, but the one thing that I learned is that to, when I save the template, I need to save it without my signature, because then when I create the template, I get double signatures. So it just is cluttery and takes up too much space. Yes, look at that. That is a great tip. Yeah. Okay, so let's show how we would do that when you go to test without signature. Let's do that if I can spell when everyone is watching me. Okay, and then what I would do is then delete this signature in this one, then go to the three dots, templates, 
save draft as a template, new template. I don't know if I need that extra step in there, Google, but maybe they'll clean that up. And see, this is the no signature, save. Okay, and then let's see how that looks. That is a great tip. Go here to my templates, no signature, test without signature. Yes, it's only there once. Thank you, Mindy. <laughs> that was a great tip. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the notes over here to make sure I highlight that too. Thank you. Ooh, that is a good question. Okay, Emma is wondering if that, so yes. So if you can have, a, um, have an attachment. So I have um, my Canvas newsletter. And so it's an attachment as in it is the link to that Google doc. Um, so if you if you have a URL for your um, for that uh, template that you want, you can do that, and it will always link to it. But let's also do another test and see. Uh, test with attachment. Good question. So we can all be learning together. I can also Google this, but let's give it a shot. Go to templates. Oop. Let me just attach something. Let's attach something from my drive. Or if anyone know, has done this before and wants to jump in, I don't know if you've done that. Let's attach this. Insert. All right. And then if we save this as an attachment, save draft new template with attachment, which is not how you spell attachment. All right, now if we go back, templates with attachment, there it is. All right, and then Sandra added, she uses it for all of her referral information with links. Awesome, okay. Good tips. Any other thoughts, wonderings about templates? Cool. Good, I love that teamwork there. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I wanted to look at is workspaces in Drive. So when I go to open my Drive, I do have my drive homepage set to put me right in my priority in, or drive. Um, and so this is listing, Google is thinking, okay, Jody, you've been spending a lot of time maybe, or you just recently opened these files. So um, we have these all here that may be for quick reference, but below that you can create some workspaces. So I have a couple here already. These are some projects that I'm working on. And what this feature allows is for me to have quick access. These are like shortcut links to those, um, to those files. Um, and so these files might be in different, um, uh, different folders in my drive. They might have been files that were shared with me by someone else, but now I have this quick place. So when I have my ICN meetings on Monday, I can quickly go, okay, here's the agenda, here's our log and I don't have to search or remember where was that saved. And so to create one, hit create, and then you'll title it. And so I was realizing yesterday that I needed a workspace to quickly find all of the files that we're using uh, for this Google training series. So I titled it Google series and G Google is gonna use its uh, AI to say, oh, I wonder if you want these fold or these files. And so actually I don't for this project, but I'll go to choose other files. If I did, I'd click on it and I would add that selected file. But since those are not the ones I want, if I choose other file, then we get this pop up to the right. And this drops me right into all of the other um, uh, folders and areas in my drive. So I can look at recent, I can go right to my drive. I can go to the shared drives, shared with me. Maybe, um, maybe I've starred these already, 
or it's on my computer. But I want to go to recent. And then I'm going to click on, if it will load, uh, the files that I want added to this workspace so that I have quick, easy access to those. And I'll try to search here because it's being slow. OK, so Google training opportunities, I want that one. And you just click on all the ones that you want to put in there or have a uh, have that quick access to. And then there's those four files. Notice there is a max of 25. So if you need um, shortcuts to a project that has more than 25 files, you might have to have uh, you know, part A and part B or something like that. But when I hit done, it's created this workspace for Google series. And so when I'm going to work on my Google series projects, I can come right here and uh, quickly connect with the documents for that project. They, it's not creating a copy or anything like that. It is just a shortcut link to those. Um, and again, these could be, um, these are actually, I think, all created by Corinne, um, but I don't have to go searching through my shared with me folder um, to be able to find those. So I have just started using this. I think it's going to help me just be a little more efficient and save me some clicks and search time. Has anyone been using workspaces? I think it's kind of newish. Yeah, I feel like, Jody. Um... I, I did, like we talked about this, right? I'm sort of picking it up, but the what I notice is we've got, now we've got shared drives, we have shared folders, and now we have workspaces. So it is gonna be worth it for us to all figure out because with what I'm getting with workspaces and correct me if I'm wrong, we can't share a workspace with someone else. It's purely for our own organization, correct? Okay. Yes. Yeah. So then we'll have to kind of do a little, <laughs> I don't know, case by case, you know, explanation for when you would use each of these things. But this is, it's pretty cool. Like it's helped me in, in some of the projects that I've been doing just over the last couple of days. So yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And I think any way to have quick access to something in the Google Drive is great because it is <laughs> yes. such a nightmare to try it. Yes navigate yes. your way yeah. through yeah. 40 clicks later you find it <laughs> yeah i feel like i was telling someone the other day it's like a library where everything's nicely organized sort of at some point and then all the books have fallen on the floor <laughs> and it's just that's it's a, a really it's good analogy leading yeah. through yeah it's a little <laughs> bit better because we have search but yikes <laughs> Yes, yes. Well, and Corinne and I were talking yesterday, like we like to star some of our files, but you could star after a while, you could have so many starred files that you're scrolling and it's not, it's not helpful either. So, um, um, but those two places, priority and starred, um, give that those areas a try and see if on your next kind of project, if you're, or if you notice like, oh, I'm always searching for that file. Um, of course, if it's just like one file that you always want to go to, you can um, you can bookmark it. So you just go to that. If this is a Google Doc, I'm going to go to all the time, which it is because you can see it's right there. But you can just click and drag down to your um, to your bookmark bar, and you can if it's one you know file that you're going to all the time, you might want to put it there in your in your bookmarks. All right, so next is, and maybe I'm going over a little time, so um, you all can say, okay, that's enough for today, Jody. My list may have been a little too long. Um, I did want to point out this side panel, and you probably have been noticing it, um, but sometimes when, people, when I don't have a reason to click on an icon, I really don't notice that it's even there. So just want you to notice this side panel over here. If you don't have one, it could be hiding. So click this little arrow in the right hand corner, pop that out. And this is a time saver for me because I can always have today's calendar up if I want, um, which I usually do to keep me on track. Um, I can also go and see what's happening next week and things like that really easily. And then if I need to see the whole thing, you can pop it open, see the whole thing from that side panel. 
Um, you can also like if there was maybe I needed to make um, um, uh, move a conversation and add this maybe to my calendar to remind myself to do something you can do that too so that's easy to get into your calendar um, we're going to have a can you show that again Jody what did oh, you yeah. to move it to your calendar yeah I just clicked and drag it over and so if I wanted maybe to follow up on this I think is it going to let me do it no it's not take that back erase that I'll show you the other way what I meant to do <laughs> not in your calendar but you can if you're using tasks and you want to follow up on an email if you can click on that little task icon and you can drag the email over you really can you really can I know you can because I did this yesterday and I recorded myself doing it. There it is. So you drag your email over. Maybe you have to do it a couple times for it to stick. But now I have a task, a to-do list, a to-do in my task list that is about that email. It includes the link to that email. So if it gets lost in your inbox, you can quickly find what that email is and see what the details are. And then you can say, when do you want to complete that task? So if I want to follow back up on this email on Friday and I want to check in at 1130 um, and do I need this to repeat until it's done or is this just a one time task. And now we have a we're going to have a whole thing on tasks coming up so I just but I just wanted to highlight that part. Um, but also on the sidebar, Google Keep, which we're going to have a, tr a, a little training on. You can access all of your content or contacts. Um, you can get right to Zoom. Oh, that's Trello. How about here? Right to Zoom. And open up Zoom, schedule a meeting right from there, start a meeting. You can see things that are coming up. And if you click plus, that'll take you to the store. And if there are other tools that you are using like Slack or something like that, or DocuSign, you can have that added to that sidebar. So just kind of, if it seems like we live in our email, live, live in our Gmail inbox. So this, if you add more things to this side panel, just save you again, some clicks that over time add up. All right, and I think the last thing I'm going to show today and then time for questions and the cool things that you're doing is over here on the uh, left or mine's on the left hand side because in settings I have it set on the left hand side, you can change the settings to have it go to the right by going to settings. Um, but there's this new area called spaces, it used to be called rooms, but now it's called spaces and I, it seems like it's maybe Google's answer to Microsoft Teams. So this is a chat space where uh, members of this group that I'm working with, we can all have our normal chats, which, which are searchable, um, but we can also share files right in here. So this might be an answer to the workspace um, where you created a workspace, but only you can access it. But if you want your whole group to be able to access it, maybe you would start a space and share those files there. We can see who posted it, when it was posted. Um, you can move it. So right now that's in the advisory committee file, but maybe I want need to move it somewhere else in Drive so you can access your Drive. You can um, view it in chat, so it'll open right up there. And then the other cool thing is you can assign yourself or your teammates tasks within this space. And so um, you can, you know, like, okay, I'm all set with creating the Canvas course shell and start uploading the materials. And then when Anne has that done, she can say, Jody, it's done, go back in and she can ask me to review that or whatever. So this just, we just started this on Monday. You can see we did have to play with the bells and whistles of adding funny gifts. Um, and then we practiced creating tasks and completing tasks. That's what it looks like when a task gets completed. Um, 
And then down here, just like with the other chat, you can add your emojis, you can link right from your drive, you can start a video meeting right from here, you can um, jump to your calendar. So if uh, discuss with some of the teams you're working with, maybe that maybe if you need a space to have that ongoing conversation and share materials and kind of have it all be organized spaces might be a time saver for you there. All right, that is what I wanted to share. Well, some of it, but I always make too much. So I am going to first stop recording. I'm gonna stop sharing, stop recording.